Hello everyone. Um, hallelujah. Praise his name. Today is December 21st, 2022. It is Wednesday. Um, I have a prophetic word. I have, uh, and I have a prophetic word for you, but I also have an encouragement as well, um, which I usually do, but, um, is I'm not, I'm not a gloom and doom, none of that. I just say whatever the Lord says, and He's not a gloom and doomer. That's why I'm not okay. But um, this word is ti is titled "Lights, Camera, Action," um, and I heard this uh, early this morning. I heard this morning, uh, five thirteen a.m. And I uh, praise His name, Lord. I just thank you, Father. I just thank you. I I, I give you all the praise and authority. Uh, to rule and reign here, Lord. I just humble myself before you and Jesus and, and and Holy Spirit. And I just say you are welcome here. You are welcome, Holy Spirit. You are welcome, Jesus. And you are welcome, Papa. We just invite you here in the midst of us. You are the reason for everything that I do. Lord, I just thank you. I just thank you. Hallelujah. And um uh, yes, Lord. And I just, my heart is to be, my heart posture is to just be humble before you, that I would just be the 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 stage that you would just stand upon. I'm, I'm, let me be nothing and let you be everything, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, but I woke up this morning and, um, and I, I was having like the hardest time. <laughs> going to sleep i just felt i just continuously was hearing the lord speaking to me all night and i'm like lord is you know the lord is speaking to me he's saying something and i it was like it was kind of a, a rough shut that door please it was a rough um hey jet jet quiet down baby it was a it was kind of a rough like just just staying fully you know asleep which is not normal for me but i knew um, the Lord was speaking and, um, I'm going to try to make this, I just remember I'm going to try to make this quick because my baby decided to just lick on and eat up my cord to my charger, which I think is in return, like shorted it. So, um, I, my, I can't charge my, uh, my iPad. So I'm going to, I do want to get through this before my battery dies. So as you already know, the situation with my phone is ugly. So, I know that's dead right now too. So, <laughs> but all glory to God. I just thank Him so much. Hallelujah. But one of the things the Lord woke me up this morning was to say, um, was to say Isaiah twenty two, twenty two. Um, and I and I know that we know that one is uh, you know. Then I will set on His shoulder the key to the house of David, and when He opens, no one will shut, and when He shuts, no one will open. And I had heard that. I'm so sorry, Jet and Ace. Look at me, please. I don't see Jet's face. You two need to quiet down. If you can't quiet down, then I will take that away. No, it's yes, mom. Okay, thank you. Everyone behave. Thank you, I appreciate that. You guys are really good at behaving, but right now I am trying to do this video, so I need your voices to be quieter, okay? Um... But he kept, it was like he was waking up, waking me up many different times. And one of the times he woke me up, that was what the Lord had said. And I was just like, yes, Lord. And I was going back to sleep and waking back up and going back to sleep. But, but finally, when I just was trying to go back to sleep and it was around five, I just couldn't. I'm like, okay, the Lord wants to say something. So I just pick up my iPad and, and I begin typing what he's, what I hear him saying to me. And he said this. Rest upon the mark I've created for you to stand on, says the Lord. Rest upon the mark I've bled for you to stand on. Command down the wicked and evil you see. I've given you all the power over the power of the enemy. And it's time that my church, my body, my remnant starts acting like it. You are not weak and little, but large, glorious and gallant in my sight. With my impenetrable armor of my blood, nothing shall keep you from charging into this battle or into the battle, calling down all supposed reigning bodies of darkness. So we're just going to salah right there and we're just going to say right now, Father, we join, we join arms right now and we take up, yes, Lord, we take 
authority and power over all the power of the enemy in the name of Jesus. And we command down every wicked high place, high leader. We command them down. We pull down in the spirit realm right now. Every demonic thing that has set itself up high above what you have said, Lord, we tear it down. Everything that stands in opposition to you, we tear it down. Every person being used by the enemy in any way, shape, and form, whether they be in plain sight or hidden, those who are in back doors, Lord, we call them for, forth and front. We pull them out of their hiding places, Lord, and we, we rip and remove the blankets in which they are covering themselves with Lord that their nakedness be shown before you and all the world and judgment comes swiftly upon them and the house of those who have placed themselves against you and against your people in the name of Jesus we send the host of heaven forth to do this work and we say that it's done now in Jesus mighty name Jesus mighty name thank you Lord and we continue on it says here he continue on and said, I shall put a cleansing upon the nations and the wickedness done upon the lands and within the clefts of the rocks hidden within and without shall be no more. Great peace is coming. I'm telling you just as a weather forecaster would tell you what they see coming, except my sight is perfect and my predictions for weather predictions aren't predictions there, but facts. <laughs> so he, he's so cute how he just used, he's <laughs> like a weather forecaster, except he's not predicting the outcome. He's telling you a fact, the fact of what's going to happen. Your lands will see great victories and great cleansing, but not all at once. He said, I do have grand finales to blow the competition away as if they were ever, as if they ever stood a chance. They're not really, they just thought they were competition day now. That's what he's saying. And he said, and wipe the, the, and wipe clean the slates. You will see, you will see. And do not become discouraged by what I just said. For no one goes to the opera house to watch it end just as they sit down. But we're tired. We're oh, but we are tired of waiting, is what he's saying. He's hearing people say. And he said, Well, the lights have been cut low. Act one is commencing, and nothing more, nothing more behind the red curtain in secret. But in fact, all is now all I'm sorry, but in fact, all is now about to be shown. Shh now, my children. No more complaining, but watch as my mighty right hand has drawn the curtain and it's showtime says the spirit of the lord and right as i was sitting down asking that was the end of that word but right as i was sitting down asking the lord right as i was sitting down asking the lord um what else like does he have a, a word a, a, a scripture that he would want to have to this or whatever you know that what is what else is he saying and he sent me exodus 13 17 through 22 this is not the amplify you know it's normally what i'm in but this is the english standard version this is hebrew to greek that's the bible i have um my actual hard copy bible but um i tend to not go into my bible as much my hard copy bible i use i do the one the 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 digital one because i my my beautiful beautiful bible my my babies i i oh my goodness for years they get a hold of my bible and just be ripping these pages i'm like no these pages are way for thin you know how the bible and i just we just can't oh it just hurts my feelings it hurts me that they be tearing my my bible up so i i try not to take out my beautiful precious bible when they're around but they're always around so um and it always seems like i have babies all the time so <laughs> so but i usually have my digital one but i have my my um my my hard copy out. Yes, Lily. I want to ask you, can we go upstairs? Your your window's open, so you need to just wait, please. Um, um, so let me go to that and read it really quick. So this was good. So uh, Exodus 13, chapter 13, verse 17, down through 22. I wish I could tell what my, my battery is like, but we'll just keep going real quick. And so it says, when Pharaoh... Can you stop him from doing that? Thank you. It says when... Here, give him this like this. Both of those pieces. Don't pull it. Just get no. Put it in his hand like just like this, like I handed it to you. 
There you go. Uh, it says, when Pharaoh let the people... Uh, people go god did not lead them by the way of the land of the philistines although that was near so he didn't go the way that people would have assumed I'm sorry. people would have assumed that he would have taken the what we would consume so, you know we would say was the most logical expect explanation you should just do it this way like everybody's saying right now i love how he just puts this together because he's so he's so smart and good he obviously knows his word in and out and, you know, he just, well, he'll tell me a scripture and then I'll go to it. And sometimes I don't even know what, you know, I'm like, I don't really know what that scripture is. I'll go to it and be like, yes, this is so good. So he didn't go or do the way that people assumed he should do. I'm sure everybody had, he was just tearing up this. Everybody had their own thoughts about how he should do a thing, but he did not do it the way people thought. And he said, this is the reason why. For God said, at least the people change their minds when they see war and return to Egypt. So you hear this? If God would have just came out, you see this, the parallel to this is he's saying, no, 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 no. He's saying that if I would have just did everything that people told, like wanted me to do, he has obviously no fear, man. If he did the way everybody else wanted him to do, you know, the, the, they would look on and see, oh my goodness, look at all this stuff that's happening. We just change our minds and just, let's just say, no, we're just going to do, you know, because they don't know the full scope. They would just make a rash decision and it would just mess up. They would mess up their own selves by putting themselves in opposition to what God's trying to do. Um, but God led the people around by the way of the wilderness towards the Red Sea. Do you see that? He took a roundabout way. You know, everybody always says, oh, well, you just say, well, let my people go. They, they were let go out of Egypt and then they just ended up right at the Red Sea. No, 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 that's not actually what happened. What happened was God made a decision, a wise decision not to send them the way through uh, uh, the way through the Philistines, but he decided to send them another way, which was a roundabout way. Okay, and through the wilderness. Do you see the parallels here? Towards the Red Sea. He knew what he was doing. I know a lot of people be, you know, sitting here upset because they just think that God just don't know what he's doing. But he knows what he's doing. He, in fact, knows what he's doing. It says, and then the people of Israel went up and out of the land of Egypt equipped for battle. What did he just say? I love this. Oh, my goodness, Lord. He just said... He just said, uh, let's see. Okay, I'll just start there. Rest upon the mark that I've bled for you to stand on. Command, command down the wicked and evil you see. I've given you all the power over the power of the enemy. And it's time that my church, my body, my remnant starts acting like it. You are not weak and little, but large, glorious, and gallant in my sight with the impenetrable or with the impenetrable armor of my blood, nothing should keep you from charging into battle, calling down all supposed reigning bodies of darkness. What did it just say here? They were equipped for battle. They people don't say that part either. They just gloss right over it. It says it right here, and he's saying it right here. That's so good, Lord. This is this word. This this scripture he just gave you before I turn on. Um, see, I just. I just jotted it down here at the end He <laughs> before I turned record. He is so good. Moses took the bones of Joseph with him from with him for Joseph had made the sons of Israel solemnly swear saying God will surely visit you and you shall carry up my bones with you from here. Basically, he just prophesied to them. That God's going to visit you, and then when you leave, you're taking me with you. This is so he just prophesied that, and here you go, prophecy coming to pass. Okay, please don't do that right here, and don't get into this. You don't need any candy. And they moved from Succoth and encamped at Etham on the edge of the wilderness. On the edge of the wilderness, that's where we are right now. We are right there. On the edge of the wilderness. What did God say? He's taking us into the unknown. Well, what's the wilderness? The unknown. We don't know what's all there. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them along the way and night and and by night in the pillar of fire to give them light that they might travel by day and by night. The pillar 
of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night did not depart from from before the people and then that's the end of 13 and then chapter 14 the crossing of the red sea see there all that had to happen first and then there was the crossing of the red sea everybody's like oh you know we need this this that alexa turn off the alarm please you know everybody's trying to cross the red sea before all this other this all this other stuff that had to happen <laughs> hello he all that god knows what he's doing Okay, he knows what he's doing. You need to rest assured and get into his rest and rest assured knowing that he knows what he's doing and he's taking it away that he already knows is there. Okay, nobody knew about the, the Red Sea where, where you could cross on dry land because because he miraculously blew upon the earth and the, the winds parted the winds parted the water. No one no one knew that was gonna happen, and also that wasn't instantaneous. Please read read see oh my goodness Woo, i'm so excited holy spirit <laughs> yeah i want to like run somewhere he literally said it right here oh <laughs> yes lord where he said right here that your lands will see great victories and great cleansing but not all at once same thing they, they did not see the red sea part the red sea did not just part instantly and they just walked through it said that wind blew all night Okay, there was a waiting process. Okay, there is processes. And I know a lot of people don't like to hear that word, but there are processes and things that have to take place. That's, don't do that, baby. Sorry. Things that have to take place. We can't just rush the hand of the Lord. If you, how are you going to be like, look, if somebody came to save you and you were in danger and they were coming and then you just start, yes, Holy Spirit. Mm, I talked about this yesterday, that spirit of pride. Someone's trying to save you and you're like, why did you come this way? Why did you bring that boat? Where is it? Da, 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 da. You should have went this way. You should have went all the way around this way and came up this way. And da, 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 da. Because the way you did was da, 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 da. that is a spirit of pride. You have to just that spirit of pride has to be taken down. OK, it has to be taken down because you're not going to be able to receive from the Lord properly. If the spirit of pride is governing you. OK, when we think we just know better than the Lord, that is a spirit of pride. Yeah, it's a, a haunty spirit. We're just like, oh, well, I know better. And I'm just, you know, like a puffed up peacock. We need to just sit down and let the Lord do what he sees fit and be okay with that and be rested in that and knowing that he is taking care of it the way that he knows it needs to be done. We are not God. We need to become back into a humbling position. We need to humble ourselves before him and take a, a posture of humility before the Lord so that we can receive from him and we're not going to walk around disappointed, upset, messed up and jacked up all day and then you know, have a bad attitude and then end up worse than when we started and then in some people you know they just lose faith altogether we don't want to go that route that's just be that's called being beat up by the devil okay and then you want to have a pity party because things didn't happen the way that you thought it was going to happen but it's not about our mind the our mind cannot perceive what we can't even receive the things of the Lord. The things of the Lord are not received by our mind, but through our spirit. And we need to get ourselves right so that we can receive from him. And that's all I have to say. Lord, I just thank you. <laughs> if I don't know where my battery's at, Lord, I just thank you right now because I still got to upload this. Lord, I just thank you. I thank you. Father, I just release your peace upon the people. I release your glory upon the people. And I just speak for every person who said, okay, that's me. I have that spirit of pride. We curse that spirit of pride at its root. We drive it out now by the blood of Jesus and the fire of God. And we say, go now. You take your hands off of those people right now. Especially when it's, it's manifesting as pain or it's manifesting in ways that it's just putting you in opposition against people and you know just uh, so many things are leaving you with anxiety and all that it's the spirit of pride and we break it now if you haven't seen that seen the uh, the video that i did yesterday i believe i posted it through the community posting thing on youtube but it's also on the facebook the bell tower on the facebook page hallelujah lord we just give you glory honor and praise and you lord will have your will, your way, and we will be obedient to the Lord. We will be, obey him, and whatever he tells us to do, we need to obey him. We will be bold for him, and we will be in a state of being blessed. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.